The dispute between Estella's workers and management heating up, with both sides taking shots at each other. And now a longtime labor rights activist says he's never seen anything quite like it. I haven't seen an employer that's been uh, acting this way for a sustained period like Stella's is. It's really unfortunate. Workers were desperate to, for fairness. They took a stand and Winnipeggers were with them. And I think Winnipeggers are with them again, as you can hear by the honking. This week's strike, the latest in allegations of mistreatment at Stella's. In 2018, the Not My Stella's campaign launched alleging sexual harassment and unfair labour practices. In 2019, the union representing employees filed five grievances in three weeks, a record number for them. Now, a former general manager of the restaurant is throwing his support behind these workers. He says he took the job in 2019, hoping to use his human resources education to create a positive environment. But decisions were made above him that he had little control over. There wasn't much that I could do, even as a general manager. Um, so at this point right now, I really don't think there's any manager within the company who can really make that change that needs to happen other than an external source, which would be the union, so UFCW. Lapa says he left Stella's earlier this year due to a, quote, severe lack of safe, healthy, and professional working conditions. The union says the employer is intentionally scheduling breaks during busy times to punish workers, so they lose tips. Among other things, they also allege the employer is purposely scheduling employees outside their availability. The UFCW president called the restaurant one of the most disrespectful employers they've ever dealt with. In response, Stella referred to this statement issued Thursday, saying in part the demands are, quote, completely untenable. They cite the request for a wage increase weekends off after a year of service and a 30-hour minimum guarantee for some workers. The two sides are scheduled to meet with a provincially appointed conciliation officer Monday. In Winnipeg, Stephanie Lasuk, City News.